Halsey here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my method for making some chain mail. I'm making this for a Geralt cosplay, so if you're interested in seeing how that turns out, go ahead and subscribe or check out my social media in the description box. So what you're going to need is some steel wire, I used 16 gauge. You're going to need a drill, a dowel to go in the drill. You're also going to need some cutters that are strong enough to cut through whatever gauge of wire you pick. And last but not least, some handy dandy pliers. These are going to save your life. Alright, so starting with the drill, you're going to want to take the dowel and you're going to want to drill a hole big enough to put the wire through it. And then you're going to want to put the other end of the dowel into the drill, snake the wire through the hole that you drilled, and go ahead and give it a little bit of a turn just so that it'll have some grip. This part is probably the most difficult part. You're going to have to coil the wire around and you will mess up. Don't worry about it, you can go ahead and go back and fix it later. For now, just go ahead and move on and start a new section. Once you have done that for a while, you're going to cut off all of the excess, go ahead and take the dowel out of your drill, and then you're going to have to use your pliers in order to snake out the rest of the wire through the hole. And then, after that, you're going to be able to nicely slide it right off of the dowel. Then you will have a very satisfying coil of wire. Then you're going to take your cutters and you are going to cut off the excess and you're just going to start cutting rings. Yep, just cutting. This is the most time consuming and this is also the part that's going to hurt your hands the most. Once you get to those difficult bits, go ahead and try and salvage what you can, but if you really can't, don't feel bad, just cut it all off. You're not going to get it. Then go ahead and go back to cutting and cutting until you're done and you're left with a bunch of rings. All right, so with your pliers, you're going to go ahead and close up a couple of these rings. You're gonna close four of them, but then on the fifth one, you're actually going to open it up. You're gonna take those four closed rings and you're going to put them through the open one and close it off. So you have a little grouping there. This is called the 4-in-1 method, and it is probably the easiest method. Go ahead and do this until you have quite a few groupings. I ended up going with 7 across and 7 up. Then you're going to take another open ring, take 2 from the 4 of the group, and snake it on through. You're going to do this with the other one as well, so that you again have 4 rings on the open ring. Then you'll have a nice little chain. It should be going 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Go ahead and do this for a while until you have a nice long string and it'll look a little something like this. Oh. <laughs> okay, when you're putting together your strings of chain, you're going to want to make sure that all of your rings face the same way. Look at how these middle ones go under and over and under and over. This is what you're going to be replicating when you put these things together. Alright, so with the bottom strand, you're going to want to take the open ring and loop it through the top two. On the upper strand, you're going to want to loop it through the bottom two. I know that it sounds really confusing, it's hard to explain in words, so I'm just going to let you guys watch another example. Afterwards, it should look something like this, with all of the rings facing the same way. do this until you have your piece of chain mail that is the desired size. If you're going to be making a bigger piece, I highly recommend that you start out working with the length of chain mail that you want and then building upwards or downwards. That way you avoid doing awkward chain linking that you're really not used to and you don't get nearly as many kinks in your chain mail. Alright, so after hours, you're going to have a pretty nice chunk of chainmail, which is great, but for Geralt, I think I might need a little bit more. Uh, a, a little bit more. It, just, just a little bit? Yeah, and for some good measure, I'll just sprinkle a little bit more on top of there. Ugh. Alright guys, so that's it for this chainmail tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Go ahead and leave any questions or comments you might have in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Like I said before, I'm going to be doing this for a Geralt cosplay, so please feel free to subscribe if you want to see some updates on that, or you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram to see updates there. Anyways guys, if you liked this video, go ahead and smash that like button and cover the subscribe button in Chainmail. All of my social media will be in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye